Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 14th, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico. AA thoughts for the day, comfort. When I'm feeling depressed, I repeat to myself statements such as these. Pain is the touchstone of progress. Fear no evil. This too will pass. This experience can be turned to benefit. These fragments of prayer bring far more than comfort. They keep me on the track of right acceptance. They break up my compulsive themes of guilt, depression, rebellion, and pride. And sometimes they endow me with the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Bill W. A. A. Grapevine, March 1962. As Bill sees it, page 110. Thought to consider. God enters us through our wounds. Acronyms. Help. Hope, encouragement, love, and patience. Just for today. Upkeep. From having fun yet. When my own house is in order, I find the different parts of my life are more manageable. Stripped from the guilt and remorse that cloaked my drinking years, I am free to assume my proper role in the universe. But this condition requires maintenance. I should stop and ask myself, am I having fun yet? If I find answering that question difficult or painful, perhaps I'm taking myself too seriously and finding it difficult to admit that I've strayed from my practice of working the program to keep my house in order. Daily Reflections, page 31. Daily Reflections, Peace of Mind. Do we lay the matter before our sponsor or spiritual advisor, earnestly asking God's help and guidance, meanwhile resolving to do the right thing when it becomes clear, cost what it may, 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 86, 87. My belief in a higher power is an essential part of my work on step nine. Forgiveness, timing, and right motives are the other ingredients. My willingness to do the step is a growing experience that opens the door for new and honest relationships with the people I have harmed. My responsible action brings me closer to the spiritual principles of the program, love and service. Peace of mind, serenity, and a stronger faith are sure to follow. As Bill sees it. Key to sobriety. The unique ability of each AA to identify himself with and bring recovery to, the newcomer in no way depends upon his learning, his eloquence, or in any special individual skills. The only thing that matters is that he is an alcoholic who has found a key to sobriety. In my first conversation with Dr. Bob, I bore down heavily on the medical hopelessness of his case, freely using Dr. Silkworth's words describing the alcoholic's dilemma, the obsession plus allergy thing. Though Bob was a doctor, this was news to him, bad news. And the fact that I was an alcoholic and I knew what I was talking about from personal experience made the blow a shattering one. You see, our talk was a completely mutual thing. I had quit preaching. I knew that I needed this alcoholic as much as he needed me. 12 and 12, page 150 and 151. AA comes of age, page 69 to 70. Big book quote. When we became alcoholics, crushed by a self-imposed crisis, we could not postpone or evade. We had to fearlessly face the proposition that either God is everything or else he is nothing. God either is or he isn't. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. We Agnostics, page 53. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. How does AA grow? Some of us sell AA as we go about. Little clusters of twos and threes and fives keep springing up in different communities through contact with the larger centers. Those of us who travel drop in at other groups as often as we can. This practice enables us to lend a hand to new groups, which are springing up all over the land. New groups are being started each month. AA is even spreading outside the United States and is slowly becoming worldwide. Thus, we grow. 
Am I doing all I can to spread AA wherever I go? Meditation for the day. Lord, we believe. Help thou our unbelief. This cry of the human heart is an expression of human frailty. It signifies the soul's sincere desire for progress. As a person feels the existence of God and his power, that person believes in him more and more. At the same time, a person is more conscious of his falling short of absolute trust in God. The soul's progress, an increasing belief, then a cry for more faith. A plea to conquer all unbelief, all lack of trust. We can believe that the cry is heard by God and that prayer is answered in due time. And so our faith grows, little by little, day by day. Prayer for the day. I pray that with more power in my life will come more faith. I pray that I may come to trust God more each day. Hazleton Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Kurt, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to Daily aaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.